Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, we're very happy to have you join us. Uh, this is not my normal setup. Usually I'm sitting over here at this chair, um, but uh, I'm waiting on a new desk. So uh, had the hurricanes come through, Helene came through, Milton came through, somewhere in there I was supposed to get a new desk, got back from the hurricane, new desk arrived, damaged. So uh, I refused it and the new one, I just got word, is coming on November 1st. So I'm sitting here at my bar, that's the kitchen, that's my living room, welcome to my home. And even though it looks a little dark and ominous, um, those sliders are Western exposure and it's super bright out there. So I have to close the blinds and play with my exposure settings on the camera. Uh, the audio sounds a little weird cause I'm hooked up to my webcam and the lighting makes me look yellow, but we will soldier on, won't we? Um, do keep in mind, this is a general reading, not a private reading. So it may not resonate with everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. The links to that uh, to the booking page are always in the video below the in the description box below the video. Blah, blah, blah. And um, one last note before I pull our oracle is this is the last sequence that will go in this order. This is the last series of readings. So there is a little somewhere up here is a little note that says watch this video i made a special video to announce the changes that are coming as of november 1st so please watch that it will tell you what's gonna change and why all right okay i'm pulling from new beginnings oracle let's see what message is coming through for you today card number three the way is clear Awaken to the power within you. Mm -hmm. I love that for you, Virgo. The way is clear. And I love the number three um, for you as well. Threes, to me, always speak to education, to learning something. Right? There's you, there's me, and then there's the divine, right? There's that trinity. Think of the three of pentacles. There's something there that's sort of coming in um, that requires some cooperation, some added information. <clears throat> so uh, awaken to the power within you. The way is clear. I'm going to pull my split soulmate spread. I'll hold up the cards. I'll tell you when I'm pulling. Uh, go all the way through, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifier. And then if you want to take a deeper dive, I will be going into an extended and the links for that are below. Here we go. Mm. I was talking about something about this in the comments with somebody this morning, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Swords. So we're coming in with some overthinking, some stuck energy, maybe some self-doubt. Um, so that's kind of funny. Uh, your person with the Eight of Cups, their challenge here, Three of Wands and um, their opportunity with the chariot. I'll hold them up, don't worry. Five of Pentacles, wow, Virgo, okay. Do re keep in mind that the energies can come through reversed. What that means is I can be talking directly to a cross watcher. So even though I'm saying, wow, Virgo, it could be those of you who are watching. Um, and the 10 of Wands in your blocker challenge and the opportunity is the moon, which is talking to you about your intuition. Okay. So if your person is coming in with the Eight of Cups, um, it's about their journey and you know what they need to, you know what they've gotten out of a situation on an emotional level and what they need to leave behind, right? Like I've gotten what I need and it's I'm moving forward. So the Eight of Cups isn't always about you know walking away. It is, but sometimes it's about well, I've got what I need here and the journey continues. So stick a pin in that because their challenge is about what, what they're anticipating now from this next leg of the journey, three of wands. And their opportunity is the get up and go, the, the making of progress. 
Um, the victory card is the chariot. It's about moving forward. So I am seeing something here where there may be some stuck energy now, but someone here is about to bust a move, okay? Um, they're about to bust a move. And it might come right in time because if you're stepping into the reading with Five of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles feels bereft, right? Feels some measure of rejection or abandonment or is lost in some uh, sense of um, low self-worth uh, or maybe feeling devalued on some level and it's just more than you can take the blocker challenge here is the ten of wands you need to offload this it's feeling just all too heavy and your opportunity here is the moon so be you have to think about listen to me you have to think about the position i'm telling you the position of the card is an opportunity so your opportunity is not to be fearful right that doesn't make sense your opportunity is to trust your intuition Aha, right? You hear me talk about this all the time. Suspicion and fear, very low vibration. The moon also speaks to our, our emotions and how to regulate them, how to modulate them so that we don't fall into fear and suspicion, so that we can operate from a higher vibration of intuition. Mm -hmm. So now that we, we see the layout, let's jump into and also the way is clear awaken to the power within you so you get your power back here my friends through trusting your intuition and yeah if you need to offload some shit, just the way is clear okay i have spoken here we go with the eight of swords Very interesting. Hmm. We have justice, six of cups, and judgment. So I'm looking at the past life soulmates here. Something that at one point, very comforting, very close connection. Maybe somebody you've known for a long time in this incarnation. If not, it feels like you've known them forever across lifetimes. And so there's been this stuck energy because something's out of balance. Um, maybe something's sp sp smacking of being not fair. <coughs> <coughs> I've been struggling with a really problematic throat lately. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to say something funny now. Hang on. It only happens when I talk. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm going to the doctor on the 25th. And I told them on the phone, yeah, it only happens when I talk, which is what I do for a living. So I can't wait till January. Um, yeah. So what I'm trying to say here is there's something that has been smacking of feeling unfair. And therefore, with judgment is about forgiveness and second chances and redemption, how to make it fair. It can be about reunion. It can be about a reconciliation. But, but up until now, we haven't known where to go with it. <coughs> I hope you thought that was funny because you should have heard me on the phone. We can get you in in January. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> So your person, <laughs> so that's the overall energy for this Virgo spread. We have the Eight of Cups for your person. Uh -huh. We are definitely dealing with um, a King of Pentacles. Hold on. Someone that's finally taking a stand. 
this is someone who and for those of you who are new these cards from the bottom of the deck are um, what you can't see so they're unconscious awareness or something playing out behind the scenes they're not part of your you know what you're consciously moving through or focusing on but they factor in and this is something that this person is finally kind of stepping forward and saying you know in the background it's like I still have this dream I still am holding on to something there's you know the hope is not lost <clears throat> So there's something that they are leaving behind. They're taking a stand for something that they want. <coughs> and the way is clear for them as well. <coughs> oh boy, that's going to be really annoying AF for you. I am so sorry. Let's look at the Three of Wands, because that's the challenge. Right, see? So the Three of Wands, yes, it's a ship's coming in card. It's the anticipation of something, but it's also a card of manifestation, right? Because with the Two of Wands, the guy with the world in his hand, he's looking out on the horizon. That's where we're setting something in motion. That's where we're being asked, what do we want? In a world of possibilities, what do we want? That's where, where we're setting intentions so that what we want will arrive. So this is the manifestation. There it is, arriving. So <clears throat> what's landing here in the challenge portion of the program Temperance, Two of Cups, Lovers. I'm telling you, this person has had enough of something that isn't fulfilling them anymore wherever they are. And I have a feeling they're not with you right now. I feel like I'm talking, whoever I'm talking to, Virgo, Crosswatcher, doesn't matter. This person is not with you. And they're trying to make their way to you. They are trying to make their way to you. Yeah. And they have to be patient. They have to operate from some sense of, of the higher mind. That's temperance, the spiritual wisdom. They've made their choice. Don't get me wrong. The lover's card is a card of choice. They have chosen you. They, you are their person. They know this. But the challenge is they can't act on impulse. They can't, they can't screw the pooch on this one. They have to kind of let it, you know, temperance has one foot on the ground to keep them rock solid, steady, balanced, one foot in their feelings. And they're, they're moving those chalices. It's like self-control, restraint, knowing that in time, all the energies will come into flow and balance when the time is right. <clears throat> I know, crazy. <clears throat> oh, you're getting it all today, Virgo. The coughing, the hacking, the sipping, the nose running. It's a great day. You're my, yeah, <laughs> you're one of my most um, forgiving signs. So uh, it's uh, lucky for me, okay. Chariot in the opportunity. <clears throat> yeah, um, it's like the opportunity is like all systems go. The rest, the opportunity for reciprocity to get with their divine feminine. <clears throat> winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm all in. Victory, triumph to come back to you ready to give as well as receive. 
ready to be invested. And perhaps because they weren't able to be before. And that is where the lack of fairness comes in. Because I picked up on something that felt unfair. And I picked up here on you feeling maybe somehow devalued or abandoned, rejected somehow. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> you were all ready to take that leap and it turned out to be super risky because all this conflict, something gets in the way. <clears throat> There's the world card. <clears throat> so it's almost as if you're getting one half of this world card. For you, it's coming through as an ending. All right, I took a chance. I took the leap off that cliff and I landed smack in a snake pit. Boom, done. But there's another half to the world card. Uh, endings and new beginnings. So what may be playing out behind the scenes here that you can't see is there's an opportunity for a new beginning in this connection. You're not seeing it right now. You may not even be feeling it right now because you're still carrying the heavy load of, of whatever went down that has you kind of bound and gagged and not knowing what to do here. I'm saying bound and gagged, that sounds terrible, but you know what I mean. Bound and blindfold. Let's keep it civil. Dealing with something that felt so unjust from this past life soulmate. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person came in and out a lot. More than a couple times. Wore you down. You waited for them to come back. This was supposed to be yours. And they didn't come back. And it's like, you know, the waiting and the, the heaviness and it's just... Ugh. Like, I'm feeling it. <clears throat> but I don't think this story is done. I think it's time for you to invest in yourself a little bit. Right? Like, there's... This offloading of some heavy energy, um, it's, it's your responsibility too. It's your responsibility too. The world is Saturn. Saturn talks to us about what's our responsibility. And I'm feeling like in preparation for what might be coming toward you, and I feel like something is coming toward you, you might want to get a jump on that. Yeah. Yeah. Because if this Ten of Cups is available to you, and if it's going to require you to determine whether forgiveness is possible, reconciliation, reunion, you can't do it. You can't get there from here. You cannot get here from here. These do not compute. It's energy that doesn't compute. So this is your mission. Release. Release. It's hard because it's in your blocker challenge. It's hard. But it's been long enough. It's time to let it go. 
And let's see your opportunity with the moon. <clears throat> Oh yeah, there's conversation coming your way. And that conversation is going to be all about what you want. So you better start focusing. And you've got two intuition cards here. The moon and the high priestess. Beautiful. And what was I talking about when I saw your person's three of wands? I talked all about this card. So there's a reason why it's here. You've got to get a jump on what you want. Think about this connection. In a world of possibilities, looking out of the vast horizon, endless possibilities. What do you want? Wands talk about desire. There are paths before you. Narrow it down to two. Which one is likely to get you where you want to go? And what do you need to set in motion so that it arrives? So that maybe it arrives at the same time Three of Wands, right? As your person senses, oh, the time is now. The time is now. The time is now. My Divine Feminine is ready. I can feel it. So what you've got to do is operate from that level of 5D connection, from intuition, from beyond the veil, trusting in something you cannot see, have no evidence of, really hard if you're the Virgo. Although Virgos are very spiritual, I'm one, yeah. A lot of Virgo tower readers out there, just gonna say. Because what you can't see is there is a conversation coming your way. And you best be prepared to talk about what you want, what path you see. Because where did we start? The next leg of the journey. Because this person is taking a stand that's where they're coming into this reading because they haven't lost the dream. They're taking a stand. They're figuring out, no, I haven't gotten yet what I want. And what is missing from the eight of cups when we consider the 10? What's missing from that? The two. Come for the tarot, stay for the mathematics. It, I'm just telling you, there's something happening here. And you do not want to get back, bogged down by a weight you're carrying from however freaking long ago it was or has been. This is available to you. Trust your intuition and believe in things you cannot see. Conversation is coming. Okay, so that's what I have for you, my loves, for now. I've made a mess of my table here. <laughs> that's okay, I'll sort it out. Um, and yeah, before I give you the astrology that showed up in this reading, uh, do know that I'm going to go on to the ex extended and we're going to look at it from this person's point of view, this King of Pentacles. And I want to see, like, what's their perception of you? I want you to see. How do they perceive you? Um, what are their feelings for you? What are their intentions toward you? And what do they get from you? What are they receiving from you? Good, bad, or indifferent, right? Um, what's the physical chemistry level? Uh, of fulfillment. Yeah. Some of you may be a great distance from each other in separation, right? What's that part of the connection? What, you know, what's that level of chemistry, you know, that they have, that sense that they have? Um, and where is this connection headed from their perspective? 
All that's very helpful if this resonated for you. It's all energy and it, it just gives you a little edge on, you know, a little extra to prepare for this. To help you determine, oh, well, if that's where they're coming from, even if it's only 70% accurate, 75, 80% accurate, gives you a little edge on how to prepare for a conversation about what you want. So the links to that are below. Link number one is a renewal. It's monthly renewal. You get all the Leo extendeds that ever were this one and that ever will be. You get the new moon, the full moon, and the monthly energy updates. It's a lot of readings for a monthly fee uh, that's basically the price of one extended. Option number two, just this extended one and done. Option number three, as always, is the all access pass. Um, also, if you have not yet done so um, and you enjoyed this reading, please do subscribe below. Uh, if you've been watching for a while and it's just slipped your mind, subscribe below. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm here to get your subscriptions. That's how I grow it. That's what tells YouTube, oh, she's here for reals. So please do that, okay? And then, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I think I've said everything I came to say. Justice is Libra. Judgment is um, Pluto, which rules Scorpio. We have the uh, King of Pentacles, Taurus. Sorry, guys, I'm a little distracted by all my throat goings on here. The star is Aquarian energy. Temperance is Sagittarius. The lover's card is Gemini. Cancerian energy in our beautiful chariot. Lovely Venus here for the Empress uh, Taurus and Libra. The Fool is um, the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. The Saturn here in the world card, Aquarius and Capricorn. Some Sagittarian energy in that Knight of Wands. The Moon is Pisces. And the High Priestess happens to be the Moon which does rule cancer. So that is what I have for you. I love the way it is clear. Awaken to the power within you, provided you can unburden yourself. That's what I have. I'm headed to the extended. All my love to you. Bye for now.